So I bet you're all tuning in to see what happened with my experiments. Well, nothing. Friday turned out to be an absolute disaster of a day. Um, it was cold. It was very, very cold. It was minus 29. But what I didn't realise was that because I'm in a dip here where I live, it's, it's a great big dip. The wind just blows straight across the top and it's not windy down here. It's never windy. It is out the, the top. So bear that in mind. Anyway, I jumped in the old Yaris and it started first flick, minus 29. I was pleased as punch with that. Um, and then I started to think about, oh, well, I might as well do a video whilst I'm here about the dash cam. If you remember, I bought, well, I was given a dash cam video that is, it's a mirror, it's a reversing mirror and a dash cam built into one. Um, in the instructions, it said it was good to minus 10. Well, we blew that one out of the water at minus 29, call it 30. It was uh, perfect, no problems at all. So I started to film it. Now, this is me sat in a car at minus 29. Uh, I usually use my little camera like this, a little Git Pro, which is really good images and it's got sort of a wider angle. When I use this for doing, uh, when we go out for a drive, for example, in the Defender, I put this almost smack bang against the windscreen so I can see behind here what's going on, so I can adjust it and things. However, on the Aris, because I wanted to see the mirror, I had it behind me, so I was sort of fiddling around with the bloody buttons like this, trying to switch it on. Little did I know, with, <laughs> with numb hands, that I'd actually switched it on to multi-shot, uh, you know, feature. So it took a picture every few seconds, but with no sound, so that was bloody useless. So, anyway, this is 10 o'clock. So, gets in the car, drives to the bank, because I had an American cheque to put in, and I had to go to the counter to do it. And um, I was in the lineup for about, well, 15, 20 minutes, you know, the old pensions, getting the pension money and stuff like this. Anyway, came out to the car, wouldn't start. It, 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 the wind was terrible. It was blowing a bloody gale, and of course the damn thing wouldn't start. So anyway, I couldn't work out what was wrong with it because it was cranking over like Billy O. And anyway, I turned the, turned the ignition on. No fuel pump. The fuel pump wasn't working. And I thought, oh, shit, I know what's wrong with this. There must be moisture in the fuel tank or the lines and it's frozen. Now, I was a bit peeved with that because I thought, oh, no, shit, what am I going to do? Um, and I wasn't alone. The UPS truck froze up as well. Now, they're on propane. And propane can have a little bit of moisture in the, in the gas or in, or in the reservoir. And, uh, yeah, they, they were getting towed away. So, so I thought, well, well, I'll tell you what. Deborah was supposed to be coming down for lunch. I said, well, don't come down because I've, I've got car trouble. So anyway, she picked me up from the bank. I sat in the bank. And um, I said, well, look, while we're on the road, and she's in a little dip as well, you know, where her parking is. It, it's, it's not in the direct wind. Now, I know, let's go back to this. I know wind chill doesn't really affect temperature, but by God, I, I, I tell you, it did in this instance. Anyway, her car was running. So I said, look, whilst it's running, let's do a few errands, an, an emergency errands, because I had some bits and pieces to pick up because it was Friday. Um, I thought, I thought I'd, oh, yeah, I've got some brushes done for the starter motor. And also, I went out and picked up some of this stuff up. This is uh, methyl hydrate. Uh, methyl hydrate is usually used in, they the call it gas line antifreeze here, but you use it in trucks for getting moisture out of the, uh, um, because of the air brakes and things like that. And it absorbs, like I say, absorbs moisture. So I poured about, I don't know, half a litre in my tank hoping that it would work, but hmm, maybe it was just too cold. Uh, and of course it hadn't circulated. So uh, that didn't work because I came back to it half an hour later and it didn't work. So that's a long story. So we did our travels and bits and pieces like this. Um, and as we were coming home, Deborah said, oh, I've got my CAA card. Maybe we can get it towed back to your place on the CAA cover. Well, the garage for CAA is just on the corner for me, Paradis Garage, so I went inside and they're all stood around there. All three trucks were in the yard and I thought, I, th I said, I thought you'd be absolutely flat out today. 
He says, no, he says, trucks started because they were on block heaters, but he says the hydraulics in two of them have frozen up. So, so he says, we can't, we've already got one truck operational. So anyway, they, they got down and they towed me car back and put it in the garage. Deborah and I had lunch. By this time, now it's two o'clock. Uh, we had lunch, put it in, straight away, no problems at all. So it's, it's obviously got ice somewhere in the system. It is a problem because, you see, you, these plastic tanks you can't drain off if there's any moisture, and they do sweat just like steel tanks. And that is 17 years old, so I'll give it a buy on that one, but a bit of methyl hydrate will, will dry out that water, and it will mix with the, the petrol and it'll get burnt out and it'll come out as steam. So it's not too bad. It's just that I wasn't prepared. I never expected it to be that cold. So there we go. So I didn't do anything. I apologise for that. Um, I did. Uh, I had all good intentions. But on our way back, before we went to the garage, I stopped off at the liquor shop and I got myself a bottle of Jameson's and I couldn't give it monkeys what happened for the rest of that day. <laughs> but I did, I did spend the rest of the day putting some videos together. So I've got about... <laughs> 10 videos ready for you to watch so there's got to be kind of a lot to do but I am sorry I, I like I say I did do, I, I set off with good intentions but uh, what's that about the road to hell anyway we'll see you later because we've got some more stuff to film today and it's not so cold today it's only about minus I think it's about minus 12 and tomorrow Monday two degrees amazing eh? See you.